I'm hoping good morning. <laughs> I'm hoping it is a good morning for everyone. And I'm hoping too that I've got my microphone uh, not muted because I am using my Ecamm, not the BeLive this morning, Ecamm through Restream. So you may see Restream mentioned as part of whatever you can see in your visuals. I'm not sure. <laughs> so we're here this morning for our daily Lenormand card spread reading. So what I've got, oops, here's a few things beeping because I forgot to do that. So they don't beep. And I'll switch around the cards. I do, I have forgotten to put these few little things up which I'm trying to find. I usually have that one up, don't I? Yes, so that's that's instead of just a print at the bottom. So you've got my name. You had the logo to start with. That's my psychic medium one. And normally I actually have my website. Now, this one is going to be going live soon. It's still not quite there, um, but very close. And I thought I had one. Well, I'm going to add it now. And just put it there is hypnosisplus.com.au. Uh, oops, so that, that one's there as well. And it's going to be up there. That's the beauty of having the eCam. It actually is um, both <laughs> versatile and being able to do it on the run whilst we're doing, whilst I'm live. So it was a good morning to Kathy. Now we're saying good morning to Karen. How are you? Love those sunflowers. Beautiful. No sound. Should be sound. Okay, is there sound now? Uh, mm, there could be a delay factor. Let me just check my mic. It's saying it's there. It's not saying I'm muted. Um, not sure with that one. Could someone please let me know if they can't hear me still um, because Diane you've mentioned that there's no sound I'm hoping it is Sarah good morning how are you oh lovely little stars goody goody and we've got Tracy here so far all of you are on Facebook wonderful 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 and Carol can you hear me now good morning yes Carol can well actually I don't know uh, Sarah you can I was looking at the wrong one, sorry, <laughs> as I was doing that. And Karen, you have sound. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's great. So there is sound now. Good, good. Good, good. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's great. Now, because we are here for our, our daily card reading, I'm going to switch it round so that we can actually see it. Yeah. And uh, I know that I'm on my on the MyTimeTV.live page on Facebook. I know that I'm in the Ros Boundy card reading group, or Psychic Medium card reading group. I think it's got a long title. And uh, I know that I'm also on Periscope, Twitch, YouTube, as well as those other two Facebooks. So, goody. And you've got the sound now, Diane. Thank you. Now, here we've got the cards. I tried to narrow down the glare a little bit by closing up the curtains. Didn't quite work, but that's fine. The five cards that we have today. Ah, it's still in the same order too. Here we've got the bouquet is in the workspace. We've got the mountain in our home space. We've got heart up in the um, unexpected and I did change this one around it was originally mass but I'll explain why I've changed it around and we've got tower in our your role and we've got the dog as the outcome now the deck that I'm using here is this one it is the Sierra Marchetti Guild of Bravery Lenormand expanded edition and the reason I changed it out is because I actually wanted to have just the original from the 33 cards, uh, 36 cards, the original 36 cards, because I've got a surprise a little afterwards, so hopefully you can hang around just that little bit longer afterwards. Um, what we've got is, I'll do this reading now, so we've got the bouquet is in the workspace, right? So that is going to be, <clears throat> oh excuse me 
that's going to be a recognition and uh, you know a thank you type of thing um, in this respect I don't think it's quite at that intimate level of I love you but it is a recognition of I love the work that you're doing I think what you're doing is wonderful for our business that's if you're working for someone else or if it's some um, um, you know you're rewarding employees or if you're the business owner in that respect um, any sort of derivative of that that's just saying a thank you it's a recognition and an acknowledgement if you like me that you work from home as a solopreneur it's almost a self-recognition so you're actually gifting to yourself that um, permission to say thank gee wow you're having a great uh, you know doing really well you're on the right path it's moving forward so it's all of those sorts of derivatives that we've got in having the bouquet in our workspace today it's thank you and what you're doing is appreciated so um, just ha have a thought around that today in even if it's just the energy it doesn't have to be the physical purchase of the flowers to give to people it's the it's sometimes just the words that we speak and the actions that we put forward to them. And uh, keep that in mind for your day. Um, forward, you know, as far as, yes, thank you. And I'm saying now, thank you for being here too. What we've got in our home space is the mountain. Now, it can be just that little bit of a challenge. Sometimes uh, what what we feel at times that might be the little little molehill type thing that we ourselves create to being that mountain, um, it, it, it just depends where we're sitting in our energy, what stage we're at and who we're with and who we have around us as to how that feels like in our day, especially in our home space for those that are closer to us and, and at that more intimate level of interaction. Here we've got the most still looking confident and being able to chart, you know, do achieve anything that's to do with the mountains because it's his home space. And we need to look at what's in our home space to be able to uh, learn from it, but also to realise, look, each step is actually stretching us. Each challenge is, is getting us to, to flex our muscles and stretch us and grow us. So it's not a negative at all. It's actually that building factor. It's actually that moving forward and into what is next because we don't always know what's around that next corner or what's up the top of the hill or at the peak of the mountain until we actually do the work to get there and to actually experience those bits and pieces of the pathway that we're needing to go through and walk around or run or climb whichever way we're doing it, that that's what that's meaning. It's it's just taking the challenge, accepting it, that we're in the right place, we're in the right time, we're in that right purpose in being uh, with who we are with and doing what we're doing, loving who we are loving and even feeling some of those more negative feelings, even though, I mean, I don't technically think of things as negative, positive, but there certainly is those polarities that help us create our balance in life anyway in whatever fashion you're understanding because we each have different ways of understanding it too now just going up to the heart card this is the one that we've got in the unexpected oh, silly camera's a bit loose I'm not holding properly so beautiful card I just love this because there's the, the three different layers of love here and I feel that, that it's also the physical, uh, me mental. <laughs> Why do we do that when we say mental? The physical, intellectual, mental and the spiritual. So we're really going to have that popping into our day. And it might not be just the once. It could be something that continues to pop in unexpectedly through many different avenues and ways of having that experience of love through our day. Okay, my, my iPad's just finished updating. Good, that was the notification beep. So sometimes we can get that notification beep in our heart too. Just be aware of that as we have it occur in our day to day as, the, as that unexpected moment. It can be just anything. By the end of the day, take that time to reflect back to see where you did see this in your day. And we're down to the tower. Oopsie, oopsie, this Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. And we've got the tower here in our role. So we're needing to actually put 
put the feet, uh, the solid foundations there, gain that solid understanding of whatever we're building on. Our role is to actually, uh, what am I feeling around this card for the day today? It actually feels like that foundation. I, 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 I suppose my whole character persona probably is more for the sitting still and um, building on a solid foundation. My whole understanding and upbringing was around a good Christian background and you build your house on the rocks, not on the sand, not on the cliff edge and all that sort of thing. It, it really is that foundation. So I'm thinking and feeling that first. So that what we can do is get that that prep and that what we're planning and what we're doing and everything built on top of that actual foundation. Where we actually place that, I think our role is to actually be in that in that frame, that mindset that actually gives you know if if we're wanting to to build our castles to actually do that, put it into action by whatever way it it feels for you that you're being led because I am certainly not here to preach to you I'm, I'm here to guide you into learning for yourself what the messages are that you're getting from these cards and that's something too that uh, lot with candy you're saying any message for your love life this is a general card spread reading that I do every morning so as you're watching or looking at these cards, take in where your eye goes to with the five and see what you feel about it and what messages you yourself are getting from it. And I'd say our role too is the, the sitting in that solid foundation we've built of our lives from our birth, our upbringing to whatever stage we're sitting at at the moment and having that experience being the teacher to us of what we're receiving for this card now and what it's going to build forward for us. So that is our role, to actually be in touch with ourselves, to understand what we want to build next, to move into next. Or it could just mean that there's going to be something that you're needing to do that's in some sort of institution and government department today because that is the more practical aspect of what the Tower card means. Okay? And as our outcome, we've got that beautiful loyal dog today. Absolutely superb. I love this picture because I do have my dog in here at my feet already today. She, she just follows me around like a loyal dog does. A, a wonderful friend and companion. And she's ready with the ball too. She found another one out in the yard yesterday. And as soon as I rattle the lead, she'd be ready to go for that walk too. So it's just that ever waiting patience, that love that is, is ever present. And you can see that in this dog's face, the way that Sira Marchetti has actually depicted it. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so as far as our outcome for the day, we are going to be ready for those around us who are, that we love that you know sometimes might not be in sync completely with what our goals are but they're not meant to be they're following their path too and isn't it just absolutely wonderful that every so often we can have that connection that actually is a synchronicity of minds body and soul that we can fully understand fully love unconditionally each other in those moments the further we move into our own space and understanding of our own experiences and who we are, the more frequent those synchronicities are going to become because we really do have love as our base. That's what our soul experience is here for, is to grow and strengthen that love of the who we are and the interconnectedness we have with each other. That is my, my main belief. It is that unconditional love for all that is. And being in that space, um, you know, the energy fields, the, the soul space. So that's what I have. Now, that's what I have as the interpretation for today's cards. What I also have, just as a little surprise and something different to do, I'll switch the cards back now. So as you're actually looking at what, having looked at what we've just done with that deck of cards, I want you to just still f see and feel what 
you feel is different even though the cards are the same in these. I'm going to take them away and you will see there's the bouquet, there's a mountain, there's the heart, there's the, and I haven't got room down there for the tower, and there is the dog. So have a look at what is, and I'm going to move them closer so you can see them closer together as the spread. There is exactly the same spread, and that is in the pixie deck. I decided what I'd do is give you the experience of having a look at exactly the same cards in just the different pictures. I'll take them away so it doesn't confuse and have a look at how lovely, how, like it's just the feel of the cards. There's that beautiful heart at the top. We've got that wonderful bunch of flowers there just to uh, reinforce the beautiful flowers of acknowledgement of thank you in our workspace. And we've got the mountain, it's that growth and challenge that we're going to be, be given in our home space to really reach our full potential. And the heart, the unconditional love that we're going to have moving throughout our day unexpectedly with the tower, our role to actually keep that foundation solid and growing towards what is that beautiful outcome of loyalty, love, unconditional love. We have that tower even pointing through those two cards, the energy card, the, the energy fields of what is ultimate unconditional love. Absolutely beautiful spread for today. I really enjoyed placing them in that way and I know that and I know that Spirit had guided me to actually um, sharing it in that way with you today. So if you feel that you'd like to, just replay later and just put the, you know, even doing a screenshot of the first one and the sec, what, the second one, because the first one I've got a photo in the Facebook, in my Facebook page uh, profile. I think I have that on. But to use that second layout of the pixie cards the pixie element and just feel into both and what difference there is for you in the learnings you're gaining from that so thank you for being here again and uh, tomorrow morning again at the same time of eight o'clock probably by the same method or i might be doing it with be live look it doesn't matter i'll still be here close to eight o'clock as i can so Keep being the best that you can be and namaste until then.